Hi, everybody. This is J.W. Nigerian with NetworkingFools.com and Fools Media Group, and we're here with Jeff Rivera today. How are you doing, Jeff? I'm doing great. And we're at Rick Frischman's Author 101 uh, University. Uh, so I'm guessing you're either an author. I know you're a speaker here. Right. So are you an author? I'm an author. I'm also the editor-in-chief of a website called Gatekeeper's Post, which is the leading social media blog community uh, for book publishing on the web. Wow. And we have over 350 top agents and editors and Pulitzer Prize winners and New York Times bestsellers all blogging about what's happening in book publishing. Oh, yeah. Stuff. So what did you talk about today? Well, today I talked about how to be able, as a writer, to mm -hmm. quit your day job. Ah, uh, okay. Now, I'm, I'm guessing you filled the room. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wants to know because, you know, many people right now are, are, you know, working jobs they can't stand, but they really dream of actually being a writer. Mm -hmm. So this was basically a, a talk at Author One University about how you can do that and how I was able to do that and how I'm able to live the life of my dream as a writer right now and that you can quit your day job and make it. It is possible. Okay, well, we got people out there going, they're excited. You got them excited already. Mm -hmm. Give us a couple tips. Just, uh, yeah, you don't have to give me the whole presentation. Right. Give us a couple of gold nuggets for them. Well, sure. You know, most of the time I find that people who are afraid to, to quit their day job, mm -hmm. they are creating obstacles. It's not obstacles that actually exist. Right. And one of the obstacles people create is they say they don't have enough time to write their book because mm -hmm. they have 12 kids and 14 jobs. But the truth is that we all have 24 hours during the day. Every single one of us, the good, the bad, the rich, and the poor. And so if you use that time effectively, even if it's 20 minutes a day, you will be able to finish your book. Mm -hmm. And that's one tip I have for people that I think you could take away with you right now. Con yeah, consistent persistency, right? Absolutely. And, and you can't give up. You know, I lived in my car. I lived in my car at one point, you know, with our cockatiel and with our, <laughs> our, our turtle and all that sort of stuff. And it was, I laugh about it now, but during that time it was very difficult. So I know right. what it's like to be in the mentality of just trying to pay rent. Right. But you have to think to yourself that you will get through it no matter what and that you're going to be laughing at the situation that you're going through right now. Oh, yeah. And that's another tip I it's give. It's all part of the journey, right? Right. It's a journey. And you know, one day you're going to be interviewed. You know, on a, a program such as this, uh -huh. and you're going to be talking about the experience. You're going to be able to inspire and inspire people, and so that's something you have to really focus Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Okay, so we're here at uh, um, Rick Frischman's Author 101. Uh, what's important about this event? Author 101 is probably, I can't think of no other place that has this caliber of people under one roof mm -hmm. talking about what's happening right now in book publishing because things are changing dramatically mm -hmm. and you have to know what you need to do right now and this is the place to be. Right, if you have an opportunity to go to Author 101 University or, or Google Rick Frischman, I encourage everyone to go out and do it. Uh, absolutely. You, I wish everybody who's trying to write a book could just meet Rick right. and see how much he cares about your success and books in general. Absolutely. I mean, Rick Frischman is someone who launched the careers of people like, you know, Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield, you know, who created, you know, Chicken Soup for the Soul. So this is a man who knows what he's talking about. The 4-Hour Work Week. The 4-Hour Week Week. And, and so many people. And, and Rick's a friend of mine is, and has opened so many doors for us. I know he comes from a genuine place mm -hmm. and, and you actually have access to somebody like that who normally you wouldn't in this, 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 this world we live in. So to be able to meet Rick in the first place is a privilege, but to be able to learn from him one-on-one is just nothing else like it. That's great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right.